for the weekend. <laughs> it's not. It's not. These are the games that you circle at the beginning of the year, whether I was at Miami playing Florida State or Florida State playing Miami. These rivalry games are, you know, some, some of these games you're going to remember for the rest of your life because a lot of the times they're close games and big environments, fun playing. Yeah. It's not often, though, that you get to know both sides of the rivalry. So how would you explain that from your perspective? Um, I would say that Miami was a big part of my life. Um, you know, important years, four years there, and um, now I'm on this side and I'm having a great time. Get a great opportunity in front of us to play against a really good team at home in front of our great fans, and uh, it's, it's definitely exciting. Alex, when you made the decision to come to Florida State, I mean, you knew this game was going to come on the schedule. Just mentally, what has that countdown clock kind of been like for you? Uh, just trying to take it one game at a time. It's been an up and down season for us as a team and me individually as well. Um, just trying to do whatever I can to to provide offense for the team and play the best defense I can for my pitchers and just be an overall leader in this team and hopefully I can continue doing that this week. Being a veteran, you've been around the game long enough, but have you been kind of talking to the guys a little bit more than usual because you know this team so well? Yeah, uh, just definitely telling guys what to expect, what to look for, um, along with our coaches, telling them things that I know about their program and things that I believe are going to help us win this weekend. Yeah, sounds good. Are you, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you, that's all right. I know you've yeah. been here this year, but have you been able to keep tabs on Miami season and, and some of your old friends and how they're playing? Because they're having a heck of a year. Yeah, uh, I keep in touch with them when I can. Uh, I get occasional phone calls from some of the guys that I've become friends with and, you know, who I, I can still give advice to and help when they're going through some stuff or whatever they need. Um, I, I'm always trying to be there for, for everybody that I've, I've made friendships with, but uh, this weekend it's all business. What do you tell them about Carson Palmquist? Uh, he's a really good pitcher. Definitely likes to compete, go out there, but uh, I think he's going to pitch good into our game plan, and hopefully we can prepare for him the right way and have a good weekend. And what about Yo-Yo at the plate and what he can do? Uh, yeah, tremendous player, probably going to be a first-rounder one day, and uh, he's definitely the heart of their offense, definitely provides uh, the most for them. So uh, I'm confident in our pitchers, though, going after him. So see how it goes. <laughs> do you just show up one day at the ballpark and, and find out that you're slotted seven in the lineup, or do, is me talking about that before it happens, and how does that kind of help you maybe find a little bit of spark here in the part of the season? Um, no, it's, he makes the lineup pretty much an hour before the game, and you go up there, you see who's in it and who's playing where, and um, I, I expect to be in the lineup, and I expect to play and provide offense for this team, and I've been doing that as of late. Hopefully I can continue with that this weekend. Moving down to the seventh spot, does that take pressure off you? How does that affect you, I guess, the play at all? It, does. Uh, it really doesn't. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get pitched the same wherever I'm at in the lineup, and I know the guys in front of me are doing a great job, giving me opportunities to provide uh, RBIs for us, and hopefully I can keep doing that this weekend. You said, okay. You've only struck out once in the last six games. Just, just what's been the difference for you at the plate in these la in the last couple of weeks? Uh, just feeling extremely comfortable. The ball's looking real nice for me right now, and uh, sticking to my approach, trying to stay to the middle of the field, even a little bit left center at times, and um, finding holes where I wasn't earlier in the season. And hopefully, you know, I could stick to that approach and not let anything get too big this weekend. What do you think the conversations are going to be like at first when, when some guys get on the base? Uh, it's definitely going to be funny. Uh, I'm obviously going to wish them the best, but I'm, I'm going to try to get a little bit distracted out there, see if we could uh, have a couple of base running errors, and, you know, who knows, maybe they go our way. <laughs> Is your whole family coming up? I can only assume. Yeah, uh, whole family's coming up, uncles, aunts, uh, good friends. So uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to have a good supporting cast out here for me this week. It's going to be rolling like 20 people deep. Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of people, so uh, I'm excited. You've been around the game a long time now with both schools, but this time of year, how do you guys position yourself to try and host if you can with some big series ones? Well, I mean, this weekend, like I said, it provides us a great opportunity against, I mean, Miami's 6 RPI, and they're ranked 6 in the country, and we're at home in front of our fan base. It's going to give us that home field advantage. and. Uh, the way Parker's been throwing the ball, I think if we could set the tone on Friday night, um, I think if we can get up big on Miami on Friday, it could set the tone for the weekend. Do you usually know the RPI of the team you're playing, or do you just know the RPI because it's Miami? No, I, I've been keep late in the season, you usually keep up with that type of stuff because it's it's basically a difference maker if you're home or away on the, in the postseason. And uh, I think we're in a pretty good position to position ourselves well enough to be a home regional host. You've seen Parker now for a couple of years on the mound. Opposing team and out with him. Why is he better this year? Is it the slider? And what do you kind of when you're watching the games? I mean, why, why is he just so effective against guys now? I mean, so fun to play behind. Definitely one of the most uh, fun pitchers I've been able to play defense for. And I would say just the way he competes out there, it doesn't have anything to do with his pitches. Because some days he goes out there and doesn't have his pitches, and he you look up, it's like, dang, Parker went seven innings today, and he was 
not having his best stuff. It's just the way he competes. I think that he knows that he's a leader on this team and he's going to go out there and be a bulldog for us every week and no matter how he feels. Let's go one more, bro. You've been with both programs. Uh, just in your words, what makes this rivalry special? Um, what makes this rivalry special, I, I think it's just all the, the history behind it. Uh, they've been playing each other for hundreds of years and I mean, when you go back and look at the, the players that have come through each program and have had big games in these moments, uh, you have the chance to put yourself in that spotlight and you have the chance to become, you know, a big time player in a big time game. So uh, hopefully somebody on our side can do that this weekend.